welcome to electrical stuff this is a channel where you can learn the electrical knowledge in the building sector today's video topic is differences between NDC and diva regulation let's start our video in this video we are going to learn how the diva and NDC power transmitted voltage frequency and etc we will be see and how the incomer breaker is classified and then what type of rating is used ADDC and DIVA then how the power distribution boards are classified these differences we can know in this video ADDC and DIVA I will see the board how the power is transmitted between ADDC and DIVA let's see Single phase voltage 230 volts, three phase voltage 400 volts as per DIVA. And Dubai also same, DIVA regulation also same. Nominal voltage shall be kept plus, plus 10% and minus 6%, whereas DIVA it's a plus or minus 10%. Frequency, we have a 50H and here also 50H frequency. And power factor 0.9 to unity and here also 0.9 to unity. Then maximum three phase uh, prospective fault current, that is a fault current for, uh, for MDB is 46 kA for one second, whereas here 40 kA. Now we'll see the earthing system. Earthing system, ADDC and DIVA differences. ADDC, uh, we use TNS and TT system, earthing system. Uh, for more details, I make uh, classification, I think, what is TNS, what is TT, what is IT system. You just go and watch that video to get the knowledge about uh, classification of everything systems. And whereas uh, DIVA also TNS and TT system. And for above 500 ampere rating breaker, I mean, if your income is more than 500 ampere, then you have to be two independent electrodes to be provided. Whereas DIVA, if it is an incomer more than 200 ampere, you have to be provided two earth electrodes. Incomer. ADDC, ADDC and DIVA. In the ADDC, incomer is three pole. ACB should be three pole. Whereas DIVA, ACB or MCCB are four poles. And all panels should be ADDC or ADQCC approved type test panels. So your panel must and should approve from the ADDC and ADQCC. Otherwise, they are not accepted. Whereas DIVA, if it is uh, type tested, listed man, listed type test uh, uh, like a DECRA and etc., they are there. So if, if the IEC 61349 is compliant, uh, then they are accepted. Change over switches. Change over switches, nothing but ATS. ATS is a four pole for a, uh, three phase circuit, whereas two poles for the single phase. In the DIVA also, it's the same. Distribution boards. Yes, the major differences between ADDC and DIVA is a distribution boards only. The distribution boards, ADDC and DIVA, if you see, if you look at the ADDC, 12 way single phase, 42 way three phase. So, if, if it is a single phase uh, distribution board, 12 ways, 3 phase, 42 ways. Here also same, but if you look the construction, you, uh, this type of distribution is for the DIVA. In the DIVA distribution, uh, in the DIVA distribution, see if you see the incomer, then you have a ELCB. These are ELCBs, these are MCBs. So this ELCB have a 6 to 9 separate uh, sections and this another uh, ELCP have a six to nine MCBs. Whereas if you look at the, if you look at the Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi you have a two type of constructions. You see, if you see, this is a main incomer, then these all are RCBOs. It's a combination of ELCB and the MCB. It's a combination. So at leakage production occur in the breaker itself. Individual production is there. Okay, this is one type of construction and another type of construction you can see here. If you see this one, this uh, is a ADDC distribution board only. If you have an incomer, you have a two sections. This is a 30 milliampere section generally used for the power. 
whereas this one is 100 milliampere this is used for the lighting and ac other uh, fcus etc so this is the major differences between the abu dhabi and uh, the diva regulation abu dhabi ADC, ADC is for the Abu Dhabi, whereas Diva is for the Dubai regulations. So this is the major differences between Abu Dhabi and Dubai regulations. So in the, if you see this one, this is one section. So these all are fed from the one ELCB, and you see this one separate section. These all are fed from another ELCB. This is how it is classified. Now we will be see another uh, differences lighting circuits. In the lighting circuits, what will happen ADDC? ADDC, if you are in the one room, uh, it is attaching a wa washroom also attached with that room. Then your washrooms, like a uh, washroom light, should be fed from 30 milliampere ELCB, not 100 milliampere. Again, I'm saying if in, in a, if a room is there, in that room is attached with a washroom, then that washroom should be separate circuit and it should be fed from the 30 milliampere ELCB. Whereas a general room lighting, it should be 100 milliampere ELCB. Therefore, you have to be kept in mind that what inside the wet areas, wet areas that should be fed from the 30 milliampere. This is another differences in ADC. Whereas a fan coil units, the FCUs, it is uh, above the uh, fall ceiling area, so it can be fed from the 100 milliampere RCD. There's uh, no issues. Whereas a DIVA, uh, it doesn't matter. It's all light should be fed from the 100 milliampere LCB. So uh, I'm, I'm showing you this. Is, if you see this one, this is the washroom. In the washroom lights, these lights should be fed from the 30 milliampere RCD ELCB. These are the few differences between the Abu Dhabi and the Dubai regulations. So I hope uh, you enjoy the video. If I miss any other uh, major uh, points, just type on the comment section. And timely manner, I'll be further differences. I'll be uh, make another video. Thanks for watching. Good day. Bye bye.